Oh, I love that first period of play, but Phoenix has the 2-1 lead. They didn't get a lot of shots on goal, but they tallied on the two, and they lead by a score of 2-1. to one. First off, Stan. Oh, first of all, how can you tell people you love that first period? I love it. I it was mean, up and down. The, the devs out shoot them by a ton, and they only get one goal, and that's loving? It was up and down. There was a lot of excitement. Up and down. By, you, by the way, I was going to wish you a happy new year. I'm well, kind of uh, glad. Oh, not now. Happy, no. <laughs> happy 2000. But wait, 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 wait. What's there to love? Up and down, a lot of a lot of chances, a lot of flair, some mistakes, but that's What's okay. The, you know, you remind me of Doc and Chico. They're talking about crazy things like Western and Eastern stuff. You know what they're talking about? Like they think they they must they sound like that the, the game is in Montana against Delaware. I mean, the game's still 85 by 200 feet. I mean, so. Just because one team is skating fast, that's Western style? Well, of course. well it is, and I'm going, what to agree. It is? I'm going to agree with the big guys upstairs, Doc and Chico. It, it is different. It's a faster, more open style. It's played in the West. Do you believe well, that? Toronto I mean, do you did. really believe yes, that? That is applesauce. This guy is wild. Teams in the East play fast. Toronto. Toronto plays up and down like... How long have they... Geographically, they've been in the East forever. How long in the NHL have they been in the East? Come on, let's get it. I they mean, just moved from the West two years ago. The, two this seasons is, this ago. Is, this is Looney Tunes. Let's get on a serious subject. Uh, all right, we're, we'll, we'll be serious and, and, and we'll focus. Uh, you want to talk about the guys who were scratched tonight? Yeah, I mean, this is a really serious matter because the Devils have so much talent that if you get a guy like Dennis Peterson, who scores a big goal, very big goal in Buffalo, and now he's not playing tonight. Sooner or later, we're going to be deciding, or they're going to be deciding, is it going to be Peterson who, who's going to be dealt? Is it going to be Breland? Who's it going to be? And now we see that constantly Morrison is back in the lineup. So they can't use that unhappy Morrison kind of thing. It's going to be a tough call. Why can't you continue to do it this way? It's been successful. Lately, particularly, Peterson misses some game, misses a game, he comes in and he scores. Now he's out of the lineup tonight. I mean, Robbie has well, done that lately. The guys who have sat out have come back well, in. Well, you can do it as long as you have an injured player and you're not over the limit. And that's the situation the Devils <laughs> find themselves Wonder in. Wonder why you're smiling. <laughs> Sergey Nemchinov has the, uh, the, uh, the muscle problem in his stomach. That's right. That's right. Now, so why, but why, my, my point is, why can't you continue well, to rotate you can, guys? Well, you why can. Why can't guys accept but, that? But Lou Lamorello is also looking ahead to the playoffs, and he wants to go in with as airtight a system as possible. I see flaws. I see defensive flaws, and I see I'm not as happy about the power play as Chico and Doc are. I don't see an intensity of the power play that I would like, and I like to see, you know, when you get a, a guy like Pandolfo on that two I want to see him score that goal. Well, I'm sure Robbie Fitoris so, would have liked the same. I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's the millennium of love, but Stan? <laughs> I'm not as happy about that first period as you are. I loved it. It was great. Western hockey. Yeah. Western-style hockey, anyway, here in the get East. You, get yourself a new map, will you? Look out. Atlas time. 2-1.